Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the Hotpoint HSF CIH4798 Slimline Dishwasher. And what I want to do today is to show you around the dishwasher, some of the features and benefits that it offers. Just before I start, I would appreciate it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just give us a quick thumbs up if you don't already subscribe. So Slimline Dishwashers, I will be honest, as a company, we don't sell too many of them. And I think the reason for that is over the years, so if you go back, say, the last 10, 15 years, uh, we used to do a lot of Slimline dishwashers, but I think over the years, what people have done is they've realized how much of a chore it is to wash up. So more emphasis has gone on a standard size dishwasher. So if they're doing the kitchen up, then they would either go for a full size, a 60 centimeter model, uh, compared to a Slimline model like this at 45 centimeters, or if people are having the kitchen done, if they're having a new kitchen, then they would more than likely have an integrated one because integrated dishwashers we sell absolutely loads of. Freestanding full-size dishwashers, 60 centimeters, we sell a lot of. Uh, but I think over the years, that's really why this, this sector seems to have dropped off a little bit. And I think for some people, the dishwasher is classed as almost an essential item, like a washing machine and cooker, rather than a luxury like it used to be. And I think that's really why people are going for the full-size ones, just really to try and maximize the space to get more uh, things like plates and crockery in there. So I just mentioned about the width being 45 centimetres. Uh, I will just double check that. So, yep, I can confirm that it's just, just under 45 centimetres uh, or 17 and a half inches. The height of it, you're looking at 80, well, 85 centimetres just under uh, or 33 and a half inches, which tend to be pretty standard. And then the depth of it, you're looking at 60 centimetres or around 23 and a half inches. So I would just measure up, just make sure you can get it in the space. I know what some people are doing is they're almost creating a space by taking a cupboard out or something to get a dishwasher in. Because uh, you will find for a lot of people, if you're only in, in quite a small kitchen, then at least to have something like this is a lot better than not having a dishwasher at all. So as you turn the dishwasher on, just press in the button on the left hand side there, you'll see that you've got a really nice LED display. Uh, I'm always impressed with some of these white LED displays. Uh, it is very clear to read, uh, but you've got different symbols on either side. Uh, but on this model, you've actually you've got a good range of programs, uh, considering the price of it. Uh, again, I'm really impressed on the the quite the the variety of programs that it offers. So I'll just quickly run through those. Um, you will see that it says the time remaining of the program. I know some of you will look at that and go, well, 3 hours 56, it's quite an eye watering time for a dishwasher uh, to try and clean everything. Uh, but you will find that that's quite a, an energy efficient one. That's one of the eco programs. That's why there's a little green leaf at the top there. Uh, with that one, so it, as it says, it can take around four hours to do. Uh, with that one, it only uses around nine liters of water uh, and it's 0.76 kilowatt hours per cycle. So it's super energy efficient, that program. So that first program will wash at 50 degrees. Uh, as you go on to program two, uh, this is how you select the program. It just toggles between the different programs by pressing the P button. So program two, again, it's quite a long wash. That will, it will vary between sort of around two hours, 20 minutes, up to three hours. And that will consume between 16 and 18 liters of water. So a huge difference compared to program one that I just showed you only nine liters of water uh, and that will consume around 1.3 kilowatt hours per cycle. Uh, so again, it's almost double the amount of electricity compared to the first program. As you go on to program three, sorry, I should have mentioned program two is gonna wash at 65 degrees. Program three is auto mixed and that's to wash at 55 degrees. Uh, again, quite a long program at two hours 39 and that's around 14 and a half litres of water, 1.05 kilowatt hours per cycle. Uh, as you go on to program four, this is a slightly quicker program. So it's only 45 degrees and at one hour, around one hour, 39 minutes, uh, 12 litres of water. So it's still not quite as energy efficient or not as good as the first program that we, we had, the Eco program. Uh, but that one, again, is around one kilowatt hour per cycle. Uh, as you come on to program five, we're into the realms of some of the quicker programs now. So 50 degrees, uh, that's only a half an hour wash, approximately. Uh, still using nine liters of water and around half a kilowatt 
uh, well, half a kilowatt hour per cycle. Uh, so just to put it into context, the, the so nine litres of water for that program, so that's program five at 30 minutes, he's using the same amount of water as the first program at almost four hours. I suppose just to give a quick comparison, um, that's quite a good example actually, that it will consume around the same, but what you will find is that the actual performance of the wash will be a whole lot better using the Eco Wash because it will soak everything for longer. Uh, so it will be quite an interesting test. If you've got a dishwasher that does this, so if you've got half an hour wash or approximately a three hour wash, let me know what you think. Does it make a difference? Because I've had examples of people saying that, well, it doesn't really make a difference, but I want your feedback. What do you think? As you go on to program six, then with that one, that's called the Good Night program. Again, it's 50 degree wash, around three and a half hours. Uh, really, the idea of this one is it's a quieter wash. So, uh, I mean, the dishwasher itself is not loud by any means, uh, but it's it's a longer program, 16 and a half liters of water. So it's not the most energy efficient program, uh, around one kilowatt hour per cycle. As you come on, we're almost there. This is the sanitizing program, uh, 65 degrees. And with this one, it's one hour 40 and around 12 litres of water. And for that programme, that's normally quite heavily soiled crockery uh, and also with an, an additional antibacterial wash. Uh, it can be used to perform uh, things like maintenance of the dishwasher. Uh, so rather than putting it on one of the other programmes, then that's really the one to, to look at. Uh, as you come on to the final programme, programme eight, then this is the soak programme. And this is really used to refresh crockery uh, that can be planned to, to be washed later. Uh, also, you, you wouldn't put any detergent in with this program. It's just a really quick, say, 10 minute wash. Uh, and with that one, it consumes around four and a half liters of water. You have got the option on here. So if I just revert back to the first program, uh, you have got zoned wash. And what you can do is you can actually select the upper basket or the lower basket. Uh, sorry, it's the other way around. <laughs> so I had a 50-50 chance. Uh, so number one is the, that's it, so number one is the lower rack and then number two is the upper rack uh, and then as you go to off then that's going to wash in the whole dishwasher. Now that can be really good, say if you're a person that lives on your own, you don't tend to use the dishwasher a huge amount rather than waiting for it to fill up because you might not have enough plates and crockery and glasses to fill the dishwasher if you're on your own then you could find that you only want to wash one of the racks. So that's a, that's a really good option. And I'll be honest, not many dishwashers tend to have that. Uh, but as you come across the right hand side here, you've got the option for extra dry. Now that can be really good if you've got things like plastic dishes. So if you've got young children, if you've got plastic cups, plastic dishes, some dishwashers can struggle to get uh, some things dry. So that's a, that's a good option. I'm good to see that, glad to see the hot points put it on there. Uh, as you go across here, you've got the time delay option. And this can be really good if you have got economy seven. So you've got things like uh, cheap electricity during the night. And it doesn't quite go up in a standard format. You just notice there, but you can delay it by up to 24 hours and then you it gets switched off. And that's just the start button on the right hand side. So quite a, quite a simple layout on the front, but very effective. Uh, a very good design, personally, I think, from Hotpoint. As we go inside the dishwasher, uh, you will notice that you have got the programs listed on the inside here. So that's quite a quite a good indication as to which program to pick. Personally, I would recommend have a have a quick read through the instructions first. Uh, if you have followed me on YouTube for a while, you know that sometimes I'm not a huge fan of instructions, uh, but I was uh, reading off some of the instructions and things like the water and electricity consumptions for the washes, which it doesn't tell you on there. Uh, but personally, I think if you have got the time, then I'd always try and lean towards number one here, the Eco Wash. But uh, obviously that's quite a, quite a long wash, especially at almost four hours. Anyway, so as we go into the dishwasher, you will notice that you've got this rack on top here. This is like a cutlery rack, or you can, as it's just showing, you've got um, the spoon and the fork so you can put things on here if you want to. I really like the idea that they've put this separate 
because I think sometimes if you've got a lot of items in here, uh, some dishwashers where you've got the upper tray, it can get quite frustrating because if you've got tall items, things like wine glasses in here, then you might not be able to get them in here. So I'm really glad that Hotpoints made this an option. Uh, you have got the, the racks in here, so you've got these that fold down. So if you've got things like bread knives, then you can just pop that on the top here. But it also just allows flexibility to put them to the side if you don't want to use them. You can adjust the height of the top basket. So if you want to raise or lower it, then you've just got the little paddles or handles on the side. That just raises it. As you go to the bottom, uh, you've got the fold down racks. So they just clip into place. Again, allowing the flexibility. So if you have got, say, a large saucepan or dish, then rather than trying to put it over the over the tines, then it's much easier to fold that flat. You've got a nice flat area to put it onto. You have got the slots in the cutlery basket, so it doesn't matter where you put it at the front here. Uh, it can go anywhere along there, uh, but it ha does have to go at the front here. You can't put it at the back because that's slightly wider. Now you've got something at the back of the lower rack here. Uh, this is something I, um, personally, I think it's a really good idea. And this is really designed to support things like frying pans or big pans, um, rather than them falling towards the back. So you've got two of those, and you can just take that out. And also you can move them side to side if you want to. So that's something that uh, not many dishwashers tend to have. Uh, and I, I think it would be one of those that... Uh, once you've actually got the dishwasher, once you realise what it does, then you could find it quite useful. Uh, as far as maintenance on the dishwasher, there's not a huge amount to do, uh, but I'm really pleased to see that Hotpoint have given us a stainless steel interior. Uh, quite a few manufacturers are going towards the plastic, like Polynox type of base. And although it doesn't make a huge difference to the actual performance of the wash, uh, it's clearly a lot stronger having the stainless steel. I have seen one or two where they've basically been written off because somebody has dropped something on the plastic base, it cracks it, and there's not really a lot you can do. Uh, you can take the lower spray arm out, and the upper spray arm as well, but it's just nice and easy to take out to keep it clean. As far as the, the filter, so you just twist that, and that's a two-part filter. Just take that out to clean, and also that as well. So. Just keep an eye on those. It is important to keep those clean. If you don't, then you could find the performance of the wash won't be as good. Uh, just at the front here, hopefully you can see that. That's where you pop the rinse aid and the tablet as well. So rinse aid just goes in that section, and then you just press that and you put the tablet in here. Uh, I'd always recommend using a good quality rinse aid and tablet. I'm not a huge fan of things like the three in one, four in one kind of tablets. Uh, because what some people are doing is they're using that instead of rinse aid and also the salt which just goes at the back here. Uh, it's always important to use proper dishwasher salt, don't use table salt, I've seen some people do and then they realise well the wash isn't that great. Uh, but that's something to bear in mind. Um, if you can, as long as you can afford it, then try and use good quality detergents within the dishwasher because you will find that it will make a big difference to the wash performance. Just quickly show the energy label. Uh, you can see it's an E rating, so it doesn't have the most attractive energy rating on here. But again, if you're comparing it to other models around this similar price range, then it's not actually too bad. Uh, it's giving you approximate usage or consumption of 76 kilowatt hours per 100 cycles. Uh, 10 place setting, as I mentioned earlier. Nine liters of water, that will be based on the Eco program, the program one that I showed you. And that's approximately four hour duration and also 47 decibels. Uh, so again, not too bad. Uh, it's not the quietest on the market, but it's certainly not the loudest. I'll just show you around the back of the dishwasher. Uh, this is more relevant, I suppose, if you want to install it yourself, or if you're wondering where pipes are going to be located before you put the dishwasher in. Uh, both the, the waste and the water connection are at the bottom here. It's really nice. You've all got a, quite a channel at the bottom here. Uh, so if you if you were limited for the depth on the appliance, at least you can put both uh, water connection pipes, so the water inlet and the waste outlet, almost within this channel. Uh, the electric cable is, uh, again, within that same channel. So again, a really good design by Hotpoint.
If you're thinking of buying one of these models, I've provided a link below to show you where to get one at a competitive price. Hope you enjoyed the quick video on the Hotpoint HSF CIH4798 Slimline Dishwasher. Please give us a thumbs up on a YouTube video, click subscribe, leave any comments below. I'd always ask for comments, whether it's good or bad, about the dishwasher. Uh, if you've got any questions on it, then I've got one of these on display. I can hopefully help you out. Also, if you have got one of these, or a Hotpoint Slimline dishwasher, then let me know what you think about it, because I'd always appreciate the feedback. Thanks for watching.